In the lymph node, T cells scan peptide MHC complexes on dendritic cells. If a T cell recognizes its specific antigen, it is temporarily trapped inside the lymph node. On the other hand, if a T cell does not recognize its specific antigen, it exits the lymph node. How is this process regulated? To answer this question, we look at the chemotactic lipid called sphingosine 1-phosphate, or S1P for short. Normally, there are low levels of S1P in the lymph node and high levels of S1P in the afferent lymph. This creates an S1P gradient. Naive T cells express a receptor on their cell surface that recognizes and binds S1P. If the naive T cell does not encounter its antigen in the lymph node, the S1P receptor causes it to migrate along the S1P gradient and out of the lymph node into the afferent lymph. If the naive T cell does encounter its specific antigen in the lymph node, the T cell undergoes a signaling response that reduces the surface expression of the S1P receptor. Without the S1P receptor, the activated T cell is not responsive to the S1P gradient and is temporarily trapped within the lymph node. This retention provides time for the activated T cell to undergo rounds of proliferation and differentiation into pathogen-fighting effector T cells. The effector T cells now express the S1P receptor, allowing them to migrate out of the lymph node and into the afferent lymph via the S1P gradient. Now out of the lymph node, the effector T cells can carry out their unique roles in the elimination of pathogens that may be present at diverse locations throughout the body.